great to talk to you both. I love the film. <laughs> Your mouth open. You obviously like Ireland, do you? <laughs> I love it. I'm like, yo, I've never, look, I'm like, I love it. I've been there so much. I've never been there, but what? I want to go there. Oh, I love, I love it. it. James, I love also, that. James Marston was saying it's one of his favorite places in the world. Who wants to buy a love place? Love it. Here? Dublin, oh. incredible. <laughs> Join I, had, us. I mean, the Guinness, come on. Yeah, it can't be me. It's good stuff. I love it. Listen, Tika, we'll start with you. When you got the call saying they're doing a second one, Jenny, we all thought it was coming, but like when you got the official call saying it's happening, where is it like a no-brainer? Was it like, I'll be there? Uh, uh, Yeah, it was a (laughs) no-brainer. It was like, I'll be there. Okay, what are we doing in the script? You know what I mean? It was definitely, um, I'm just grateful that they gave us agency as the women in the film and we have stuff to do. We have intentions and we have our own little journey and super excited that we were part of that, but it was definitely a no brainer. Yeah. Yeah. You two bring the laughs. I mean, Rachel, stop your character. Now, I mean, like Natasha, tell us about this. Was she so expressive? Were you exhausted at the end of the day? Cause you've got all the, do you know what I mean? All the big reactions. at the end of the day, I think for me, just throwing myself 100% into this character was just so cathartic. I think that like, you know, this was uh, one of the first thing I've, I shot post vaccination pandemic, which is different, like a pre vaccination shoot. Yes. So I just felt more free and more comfortable and didn't feel like I was, you know, literally and figuratively holding my breath on set. I had a bit of, I was able to relax into her. And so as athletic as the performance (laughs) might feel, I definitely at the end of the day was recharged and, you know, making people laugh is something that just makes me, me and makes me whole and makes me happy. So to do that on set, it was incredible just to, you know, see if I can get the guy running the boom operator, you know, the boom operator to laugh and knowing <laughs> yeah, yeah. that eventually audiences would laugh too, just filled me. Yeah. And, and Tika James Morrison, obviously, once again, plays your partner and he's such a nice guy. And that's what everybody says about him in real life. So he's so nice. Is he, is he that nice? Cause he comes across in the interview and everything. He's just, you couldn't say anything about, well, I couldn't say anything bad about him. He, he can't be that nice. Give me one thing. He's I horrible. Bad about oh, he's, he's horrible. He's a horrible human yes. being. <laughs> I needed to hear that. Like, I mean, I, I'm surprised I still have to work with him. <laughs> I called Paramount and said, can't we replace him? <laughs> uh, really? Uh, unfortunately, unfortunate, like, no, fortunately, he is one of the nicest people. I mean, I have friends who have crushes on him and they're like, how is he? I'm like, he actually is nice and he's cute. <laughs> like, ugh, yeah. you know? And so he literally is such a, um, scene partner wise, again, like Natasha, very giving, very collaborative, very, just want to, he wants to get it right. And he yeah. wants it to be as fun for you guys, um, yeah. as he's as, as fun as we're having on set as well. So he's a, he's a really good guy. It's so well, annoying. It's yeah. So Cause you annoying. have to be mad at him, Natasha. Do you know what I mean? Your character is mad at him most of the time. So that must I be, know. that's hard acting. I'm going, she's good. Oh, Where she's is ha- my Oscar? <laughs> Where is my Oscar? <laughs> well, you know, that was last night. I mean, that was that big <laughs> Do you know how hard it is to act like you're mad at someone that is so kind and symmetrical? Like that's really (laughs) frustrating. You want something to be off. And then when the camera was off, it was just like, oh, he's even more generous and kind and funny and all of those things. So I I didn't mind that. I didn't mind that at all. (laughs) So so how do you cope with, now you got knuckles and tails. You already had Sonic to cope with before in terms of, I assume they're not there. Do you know what I mean? Between me, I I assume they're not real. So what's there? Like, what are you talking to? And is that, is that that like chaotic with three of them now or sometimes two, three, whenever one, sometimes? I feel like it's sometimes it's a tennis ball at the end of like, you know, a, a pole. Sometimes it's like a large sort of, you know, metal thing, metal thing. Yeah, there's a lot of sort of stretching the imagination. But um, as Tika said earlier, like there's uh, the, the, the joy is watching other actors go through the same thing. So you don't feel like you're alone out on this limb talking yes. to a tennis ball like everyone's doing it. So you're like, OK, we're all going to be this brand of crazy. I like it. <laughs> We've all agreed upon this. We all agreed on the terms. This is as crazy as it gets. Right. No one talked to the tennis ball when he calls cut. Great. <laughs> on, on that note, on crazy. Thank you so much. Pleasure to talk to you both. And congratulations. It really was a blast of a film. Thank, Thank you. you so much.